Hello everyone, this is Trevor Truck ASMR, and we are on episode 7 of Kirby 64, The Crystal Shards. I'm gonna get rid of this power, because I don't want it. And, you know, today, look at Kirby, look at how happy he is, because he's going to the shopping mall today. I don't know what he's gonna find, but this is it. Um, this is a shopping mall, and Kirby's there. So let's see what we can get into, what trouble Kirby can get into. Um, well, besides, you know, dying in a mall. Oh, game over. Well, everyone, uh, that's it. Like, that's all I have the energy for. I'm so sorry that the game is over. I am not touching this game again. Um, I hope you enjoyed Kirby 64. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's let's get serious, okay? Shiver Star is a brutal world, okay? And the story behind Shiver Star is actually pretty gruesome when you dive in a little too far. Um, the thing about Shiver Star is it's Earth. Um, and what I mean is some cataclysmic event happened in which the Earth is frozen over entirely. And where is Kirby right now? Well, Kirby's inside a shopping mall that once was filled with just regular people, and now it's been taken over by these, what do you call these things, creatures, aliens? I mean, I don't know. Um, but this shopping mall is now different. Shiver Star was once Earth. And this is Kirby exploring what was once, you know, just a regular planet that housed a population of people like you and me. Is this the official lore of the Kirby universe? I can't say for certain, but this is a theory that I've heard before. Anyway, I want you all to just take a moment to appreciate, like, the level design and the way this level looks. I, for one, enjoy it. Um, I think it's well done. And I think it does capture, you know, I mean, if, if the story is true, it does kind of have a dark undertone. So this game is not all just, you know fun and games uh there's actually a story there's actually a tale there's actually lore to it maybe you wouldn't expect a whole lot of that in a kirby game but i am very uh impressed you know if this is the true story it's very interesting and kind of makes you want to learn more doesn't it but anyway we're gonna go through we're gonna go through this mall and uh, we're gonna shop for uh, food because Kirby needs food to survive. We're gonna see what else we can find, what other secrets may be in this shopping center. Um, and I, I really wouldn't mind finding a one-up if possible. I, I need some extra lives. Two. Two is not just... It's just not going to cut it. So. This seems to be a really... Uh, easy boss, honestly. I mean, if this is the best that this... Uh, insect can do. I mean... I shouldn't have too much of an issue, honestly. 
let's just uh, get this boss battle done and we will move on like normal what do you all think about shopping malls honestly it seems like it feels like the modern mall is like disappearing I can tell you that I haven't been to a mall in a long time but honestly I was never really against malls I've I've enjoyed malls um, and the food courts the shopping the like I remember we used to go to this mall around Christmas time um, and you know, we'd go to all sorts of different shops. You know, you had your you had your candle store, your sports store, your hobbyist and game store. Of course, video games. I mean, that's a no-brainer. The food court had, like, Chinese food, pizza, everything you could ever want. Um, so. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. And I don't think I have the power to uh, push in these buttons. So we're just going to skip. Ooh. This is a very uh, outdoorsy type store. I, you know, I would kill to get my timing right. There we go. It just takes a little patience and coordination which, uh, if I'm being honest, I lack in both of those. Got him. Had to do a little, uh, little bit of mathematics to get that timing right. Alright. Oh, no, this looks like a very comfy store. Um. Oh, shoot. Yeah, that, that wouldn't feel really good if, if you... <laughs> if you were underneath that. Alright. Moving on to a different store. Oh, we are underwater now. Okay. I can get into that. I'm just gonna slowly uh, walk. Just, you know, casually. Uh, let's swim out. Just like that. Ooh, we've done it. We have reached the... Ow, that hurt. We have reached the hardware store. Yes. Pretty cool. It's pretty dark, though. Um, let me try to get... Ah, oh, I missed again. There we go. All right. Oh, don't want to be on that. So it looks like we got our uh, electronic store. Pretty nice. Oh, and we we have some pretty nice things in here. Pretty cool looking uh, television set, if you ask me. Uh, but, you know, what I really want to get is a 1-up. I need a 1-up. I need to get more lives in this game, for crying out loud. Whoa. Okay, this is actually pretty intense. These cannons are firing much faster than they used to. Okay, they are predicting my moves. This is weird. This is like 4D chess. Holy cow. Okay, this is so strange. It knows my move right before I take it. That's scary. I I can't handle this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Whew. Um, there's a one up, but can I make that jump? Let's try it. <laughs> nope. I mean, I got a red star with abnormally large eyes, so that's something, I guess, right? 
Okay everyone, so this is probably my favorite level of all time because of the music. This is the factory investigation level with with really great music. Um, the only unfortunate thing is uh, you can probably hear the music in the background, but I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna emphasize it too much because I don't want to get into any uh, copyright issues. Um, I mean, and, and here's the thing. I'm making assumptions that these videos won't be taken down. Um, even though I have the music on, I'm making assumptions, but there's really no guarantee. Um, and, you know, I understand that. And uh, whatever happens, I am, you know, I'm willing to accept responsibility. Um, but I figure since this is very transformative in the sense that, you know, I'm added my thoughts to the original game audio, uh, I really think there shouldn't be a huge issue. Anyway, we're going to get some help from our friend here. And we just got to be careful, though. We don't want to get uh, slammed. I don't exactly know what this factory produces, but apparently it's something that has to be squished with a hammer. So, let's do this. Again, this is this is a great level, great music. Um, I've tried to play my bass to this music, uh, you know, years ago. I need to try it again. But it's overall just the aesthetic, the design, um, just overall a very great level. And it, it really kind of hits home the fact that Shiver Star is the planet Earth or what was once the planet Earth. This is the factory that we as humans left behind. If you choose to believe the lore of it all. Um, and then in the background, I mean, what exactly is going on here? You have some type of creature, uh, being preserved. It's weird, isn't it? As you can see, there's another creature that's being preserved. I mean, again, strange. Um, so yeah, that's the theory, of course. It may not be correct, but... It's a theory. Ouch. Gotta hurry up so I don't get uh, crushed. Alright, Mr. Knight, you're gonna be in my way. No food. I really need... I need another chance to get another one up. I want to get as many one-ups as I can, because, uh, this game is only going to get harder, I know. Um, so let's do this thing. Let's see what else this level has to offer. Ooh. This doesn't feel safe. Okay. This does not feel safe at all. I don't know what it is, but, you know, seeing this lava here, you know, it's like that game, uh, the floor is lava, you know, just kind of gets you nervous. All right. Yeah, I just gotta be patient in this part. Just gotta slow it down and take my time like a Sunday drive. Just gonna walk around, fire, and it should be, should be just one more, maybe two more, I don't know. Okay, that did it. Excellent job, Kirby. And we have a crystal. Um, I thought I could cut the chain, but I don't think that's an option. So I'm just going to leave it. 
And yeah, I mean, if you haven't noticed by now, I'm not necessarily going for, you know, 100% completion on this game. Um, because, you know, that would require a lot of just going back and forth, and uh, mostly I just want to, you know, complete the main part of this game. Um, I don't think it would be very entertaining to watch me try to, you know, 100% something. I mean, I'm open to it, but again, I don't think it would be super entertaining. So, just my opinion. Um, anyway, I need to focus here because I don't want to get crushed. And uh, as we all know, in a game like this, getting crushed is an insta-death. So, yeah, I'm going to do my best to avoid insta-death. And as I say that, I'm about to get insta-deft. <laughs> oh, man. I hope, I hope there's a checkpoint. There is. Nice. Alright, so I'm going to try to get through that one. Perfect. Yeah, this... I, I remember this part being kind of difficult. Like, I really have to be, uh... Really have to be on top of it. Kirby is not... Oh, uh, shoot. It's funny, because I made it with no problem the last time I did it. At least that part. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to focus on getting through this part of the level. If I have to, um, I will cut the video and just edit to when uh, I get past this part. Uh, because, yeah, this part is going to require good timing, good concentration. And actually, I'm, I'm not going to take any risk. I'm just going to wait it out. All right. Good. Good so far. Okay. Good. I'm gonna hide here. I don't mind taking my time, you know, if it means that I can get through this level. Okay. Okay. This is the part where I really have to gun it. Oh, that messed me up. Wait. I think I can duck. Yes. Good. Good. Okay. Take this. Ooh, look at this. That's kind of funny. Cool. That's actually a really good power. I think that'll come in handy. Ooh, but I better watch out for that uh, wall coming after me. Yes, I had to get the food. I'm hungry. Alright, let's go. I can do this. I just have to focus. You know? Just gotta focus, and I'll get out of here. Oh, a crystal. Uh, I'm gonna have to skip it. I'm gonna have to skip it. Or, I'm just... <clears throat> okay. <laughs> oh, man. That's... That's great. Alright. Look at that, I'm already down to one life all over again. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna gun it. I just gotta get through the level. Because I'm sure that, uh... I'm pretty sure most of you don't want to see me go through the same parts again and again. So, yeah. I'm gonna hurry myself up. And... I can focus on the crystal at another point. Uh... Oh, wait a minute now. Oh, okay. Alright. I'm starting to understand. Okay. So, yeah. It's clear I haven't played this game for a while. Definitely rusty. But I think I have a better understanding of what I need to do um, once I get to the top. Yeah, I, I'm sure I mentioned it, but 
this game definitely gets much more difficult as time goes on. This level is difficult. Um, I love it, but it's difficult. There's no denying that. Okay, I'm just gonna stay here. I'm gonna let that other wall come this way. Okay, and then slowly I'm gonna jump up. All right. Get rid of these, these enemies, or maybe not. Ow. And that's the level. Oh look, it's a one-up. How did I not get it? So that was Factory Investigation, and as I said, uh, one of my favorite levels. I, I certainly enjoy it. Alright everybody, I'm going to have to end it here, but uh, in our next episode, it looks like we're going to be facing some type of boss, so definitely wish me luck on that. Um, hope you enjoyed, hope you had a good time. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.